What's up, you guys? I have no idea if this is going to be at the end of another vlog or at the beginning of a new one. I have no clue. If it's at the beginning of a new one, what is up, you guys? <sighs> I took a lot out of me. Every single time I vlog, look who appears. Today is not a happy clip. This is not going to be a happy clip. I am not feeling the best since yesterday so yesterday i woke up at 5 a.m with a sore throat on one side of my throat usually when that happens it's usually a canks canker sore i think it's called uh, i think it's called that um uh, so it doesn't actually mean that i'm getting sick because when i get sick i have very specific symptoms every single time without failing i do not have any of the symptoms to, from when i'm getting sick you know um yesterday so i only woke up with that i was feeling great and i'm like okay cool it's a canker so whatever i could deal with that as long as i'm not sick i could deal with that and then as i started getting ready to go to work i'm like feeling very weak now i have hypoglycemia so the night before, I'm gonna be very honest, I did not eat correctly. I did, I ate very little and very early and did not eat anything else. And then I went to bed and then by the time I woke up, I felt like my body was shutting down, which is the blood levels going down. So I'm like, okay, cool. I know what it is because it's the same feeling that I always get when, I, when that happens. I'm like, I'm gonna make a croissant sandwich before going to work and then eat it on the way and that's what i did i'm like okay cool i'm starting to feel good as i started working i was feeling how weak i was again and sometimes i had these days where i cannot regulate my blood levels and i'll keep going on a roller coaster right i'll feel good then it'll drop all of a sudden then i'll feel good and then i'll drop all of a sudden and i'm eating all the correct things and that day i'm like very specific with my diet and what i eat and drink and everything uh, so I was like feeling that and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to be able to work like this because I am weak and I could hardly even put my arms up. And in my job, you have to put your arms up basically. <laughs> so I decided to leave. I left very early on. I only did one hour on my shift and I was like, <laughs> deuces, bye, I'm leaving. Because in two days, my best friend arrives from Puerto Rico and then in three days, my other best friend arrived from Puerto Rico and we're going on a whole week trip. I cannot get sick. I just left. I went home. I, I've been here <laughs> since yesterday. Oh no, I did stop at Walmart to get chicken noodle soup, orange juice, and halls and a thermometer. So, as you can see, I did not go to work today. I called in sick as well. I am going to get a freaking strike because I only had, after going yesterday, leaving yesterday, I only had four hours of uh, sick time. So, <laughs> I am getting a strike, but that's okay because I need to salvage this vacation. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sleeping uh, downstairs because I do not want to get Carlos sick if you don't know it. If you are new to this channel and do not know who Carlos is, he is my partner. Uh, and he works 12-hour shifts at Amazon. And he cannot get a, he cannot afford to get sick, basically. So I'm going to show you my little table of <laughs> trying to save the vacation. Here we go. This is the table. It is messy as you would think a sick table would look like. <laughs> so here I have a croissant that I've been munching on to not feel weak. I got this at Costco the other day, so that's come very in handy. Um I do have some orange juice in this cup and then oh almost dropped that and then water in this cup. These all of these liquids are uh room temperature because if you know if you have a sore throat uh they recommend a uh, warm to room temperature liquids instead of cold that's what i'm doing in this here this is the noodle soup it's all done i do have more that i have to make today this is an old bottle that i just used i just put in you know your regular advil migraine pills allergy pills that kind of stuff so i usually take that to work with me in case i need it uh i have it here because this right 
I've been drinking the DayQuil. Uh, but DayQuil sometimes doesn't agree with me. And sometimes it just gives me a really bad headache. 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 <laughs> bad headache. And so what I do is I take a migraine pill. Do not worry. I do not take it straight after this. I do let a lot of time pass, which is the recommended four hours of the bottle. So instead of taking this again at the four hour mark, I do take a migraine pill to help with that. Because that's freaking annoying. Then back here, I have the bag of hauls. This is the cough suppressant and oral anesthetic, which I don't really care about the cough because I am actually not coughing either. So, and then right over here, we do have the thermometer. So I have been checking up my temperature every so often, every couple, every few hours, I'll do it. I did it when I woke up. I'm still good. So that's an A plus. I do not have fever, which is the important part right here. So stay tuned to see if we can salvage this vacation. Let's see if this vacation even happens. I am going to keep you guys updated. Today and tomorrow, I was supposed to obviously finish cleaning the house. I still had to do the bathrooms, which is very important one having visitors uh and straighten up i know that every single other little thing that i was gonna do i could just put them off but these i need to do so it's currently super early in the morning uh hopefully by nighttime i get a lot of energy and feel better and if i do then i'll take it slowly and calmly I'll clean the bathrooms. I do have today and tomorrow. Cristel does arrive tomorrow, but she doesn't arrive until nighttime. So I still have time during the day if I want to do uh, little things. No, it's a no-brainer. You look too tall. 56. I am doing surprisingly okay today, all things considered.